All right, joined now by PJ Fleck. And coach, you are welcoming your very first signing class as the Gophers head coach. There's been a lot of excitement. Can you try to describe what you're trying to convey here to everyone with so much excitement and such a party and this kind of an atmosphere on signing day? We want to continue to create our culture, and culture is about connecting people, right? And we feel this 2017 class fills a lot of holes and voids that we do have, but we're filling it with the right type of people uh, on the field and off the field, academically, athletically, socially, spiritually. We call them how for they're not gophers, we call them howfers because their how, their story is, is very similar to what our program's about and they fit us. You mentioned culture. What is the culture at Minnesota? Well, it's called the hyperculture. Uh, you probably don't have a few hours to talk about it, <laughs> but it's also the row the boat culture. It's a, it's, it's a culture about serving and giving. If, if your life is just about you, University of Minnesota is not, not for you. If it's about serving and giving other people through numerous directions and numerous ways, uh, serving a community for three and a half million people and a university with over 55,000 student or, or, or students, then this is the right place for you because the more you serve and the more you give, in return, you're actually going to get the fulfillment, and the peace, and the joy in your heart, which is hard to find in college football these days. And it's the right perspective to have. You have more than two dozen guys signing the national letter of intent to come here. You were able to put together an entire <laughs> class in less than a month. How did you do it? A, a lot of energy, a lot of sleepless nights, and an incredible coaching staff. I think we have one of the best coaching staffs in the country, uh, and, and they have some of the best wives in the country. To be able to allow your, your, your husband to leave wherever they were, but also leave your family and your children uh, to really just go out and recruit. And that's all we did. That was the number one thing when we got here that we had to be able to do. The hardest part is building those relationships. You got two and a half weeks to build a relationship with a young man that you necessarily don't know yet. Uh, so they did a tremendous job of finding the right student athletes to come to the University of Minnesota and continue to change the culture here. You were able to bring about nine guys from Western Michigan who committed to you, really. And we always hear you want a player to commit to a school rather than coach because coaches can leave. But these guys are following you. What does that say about you and what you project to these players when you are talking to them and sitting in their living rooms? Well, I think one of the biggest things is a lot of these players that committed to us from Western Michigan, we offered them. We didn't force anybody to come here. We offered them at the University of Minnesota, and uh, they wanted to come. And a lot of them came, most of them, not all of them, sight unseen. I think that just tells you the direction of what college football is all about. This is a people profession. And the more and more as we go through 2017 and beyond, people make the world go round. Not just things, not just buildings, uh, not just places, but people do. And I think that's what student athletes are really recognizing as they move forward. Coaches move around a lot, uh, and, and they do. But we just got here. I think our student athletes felt very comfortable with our contract, felt very comfortable where we're at, and the vision that we have here at the University of Minnesota to be, make it become a Big Ten champion and then eventually Rose Bowl and national champion as we continue to go forward. What are you most excited about in this signing class? Well, I, I think it's the energy level, to be honest with you. These are very passionate young men, and not just passionate about football. They are passionate about their life. And if your life is not important to you in every aspect, athletically, socially, academically, spiritually, this is not the right place for you because they all have to be important. Some people that value one thing or the other don't fit with us. Every area has got to be really important, and that's why we're so excited because these are incredible men. You've talked a lot about the, the personalities and the culture of this program. I want to talk a little bit about what these guys bring to the table skill-wise. Sure, yeah, we have a few holes. You know, we don't have a freshman, sophomore, or junior defensive uh, tackle on the roster right now. We have some holes to fill. Uh, with some of the things that happened here at the University of Minnesota, we have some other holes to fill with some suspensions and things like that. So we've got to be able to have guys be able to get in here, not even plug the holes, but now all of a sudden become a four-year starter. So we're going to get a little younger possibly at some positions before we get older, uh, before we even get more experienced. But these guys give us the ability to play, play guys we trust, uh, and uh, have the ability to fill some of those gaps. All right, Coach, thank you very much, and congratulations on a great signing class. I appreciate that. Row the boat and sky you mouth. Thank you.